Hello guys, welcome back to yet another Gran Turismo 7 video. In today's video we are going to take a look at the Corvette C6, so stay tuned. So this car got requested on my uh, channel, and of course the first thing I did was turning on my Playstation and I did check out this car, I had to buy it also. So my first impression of this car, it was actually very easy to drift it, uh, like it was stuck. When I added a fully customized suspension, something happened with the car, it got too stiff and it, it was very, uh, very bad. So I spent maybe one and a half hour to figure this car out, how to make this as good as I want it to be. It could probably be even better, but uh, it's a new game. I still have to practice more on my drifting, it's still a bit twitchy. This video will actually probably be my last video I record directly on my inside my PlayStation. I will try to um, set up the Elgato capture car and uh, the other uh, microphone I have, so that will be great. Had Covid 7 days ago, I think it's now. I got Covid the day Gran Turismo released, so that sucks. I haven't had too much energy in my body to keep grinding and making uh, videos, but I have <laughs> in fact gr been grinding uh, Gran Turismo just by driving the races and stuff like that. So I did complete the whole game in the, in the second day. I have some side uh, missions, if you can call it that, but I got uh, yeah, got most of it done. Okay, that's or uh, actually original. Okay, that's original, original, and rare. Original. Okay, cool. Wing, also original. Okay. I did not wide body the car. Not all the car I'd like to do it on. Sometimes the alignment just gets messed up. So that's why. Uh, uh, uh. So let's find a track or find the track that I uh, make most builds on. Let's do time trials. We can get some more laps than only one. To the right there, you can obviously see the type of cars I have uh, <laughs> been uh, been working on lately. Assist settings, let's see. That's not good. <laughs> Just to be clear, I made uh, two uh, drift uh, setups on this car. One for comfort uh, medium, and one for sports medium. That's basically because I did like it with sports medium. And when I think of it, uh, most of the people on this game drift with uh, comfort tires, me myself. So I decided to make a second uh, setup with uh, comfort tires. This is a highly powerful, uh, very powerful, powerful car. So drifting with uh, fully tuned uh, C6 with uh, comfort medium uh, tires or comfort hard, it's a bad idea, if you ask me. If you are into comfort medium or comfort hard or even soft. This is the setup I use. As you can see, right off now the car isn't fully tuned. You can of course fully tune it if you want, but I don't like it. I don't need that much power, not at least on this track. So I did uh, de uh, decrease the brake horsepower a bit. Uh, so here is the suspension settings. I was very back and forth on which type of camber I was, was going to put on this car. I ended up with this, with uh, this but... It works uh, perfect for me. Differential. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, as you can see, I did actually uh, <coughs> not slam the car completely. It was um, a weird thing happening with the cars. Uh, let's say I, I drove eight rounds, and then one of those rounds, the car suddenly just uh, flipped around with, with no reason. So my conclusion was that the, uh, the the car was too low, so it hit the car with the front spoiler or something. I'm not sure. I could never figure that out, try to uh, check out the replays and stuff like that. But just in case, I did uh, adjust it a bit up, and to be honest, it never happened again, so... <laughs> I'm not sure yet what happened. So, fully customized racing transmission, uh, 250, that's for the main part, only for this track. I don't need to go over that speed in on this track. I guess it kind of depends on the track, so on this... Uh, setup I did uh, something not stupid but uh, I did not use the power restrictor which I should have done 
I instead removed the, uh, 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 the supercharger in the cooler, air cleaner, silencer, and exhaust manifold. Instead of, and also did adjust the ECU down. Instead of uh, adjusting down the power restrictor, the sheet is saved, so I will just let it be like this. And of course, a steering angle adapter. So that's about it for this uh, set of pair for Drift Comfort. Then if you go over to Drift Sport, it's Sports Medium. The car has a bit more horsepower, and as I did say, I don't like the car to be that powerful. I don't think it's necessary to have this car up like 850, 660 works perfectly fine. And at least on this track, it depends which track you are drifting on. For instance, if there is a scuba, you can even uh, put it down to like 550. But I don't like the car to be that powerful. That's my, my opinion. Opinion. The only thing that will happen if you got a powerful car, it will be more difficult to control the car. So of course, if you are, are an experienced uh, GT player, uh, it should, shouldn't be a problem. Me, myself, uh, don't have a problem with it, but since I was going to make a setup, a lot of you guys maybe are new to this game, completely new. I made this setup, uh, so it will work for everybody, basically. Uh, so the suspension settings are a bit different, as you can see, camber 3.2 and one at the back. Fully customized uh, LSD. And this car has all the tuning parts on. I just adjusted the ECU down. As I did mention, maybe I should have adjusted the power restrictor. Who knows? I did my... I did the... Uh, by the poly restrictor after I did the setups. Tool customized racing transmission once again on 250. Did not do any manual adjustments. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 that's it. Of course, steering angle adapter. The suspension settings is the more, uh, most uh, important part of uh, drift setups. You can even go out on the track with a uh, stock suspension on this car and it works perfectly fine. For if you set the fully customized suspension on and do nothing, it doesn't drive well, <laughs> trust me. It also, uh, it's the same for a uh, track car. You have to do some adjustment to get the car perfect. So it, instead of just buying a fully customized suspension, if, if you're not going to do anything, use the street or... or uh, what's the other called? Use the street or sport suspension. You can even add the height adjustable sport suspension. That should work all fine. Fully customized, probably will be too stiff. That's not the case all the time, but very often at least. So there is the two uh, setups that I have made. For me it works perfectly fine for my type of drifting style. So I will do two laps with, uh, with each uh, set. I will start with the comfort. Uh, so guys, I will uh, play the replay for you guys. Two lap on each um, setups. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly uploads on this channel. See you in the next one. Have a nice day. Peace out.